What's up everybody, this your boy Chris Wee Beats back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking this drum loop and making a beat out of it. So we're gonna start with the live drum sample and then we're gonna add in some guitar, bass, and percussion and develop a beat around this drum loop. All right, so we're actually gonna start this off in Adobe Premiere. I have the drum sample and what I did was I just used the recording from one of my YouTube shorts. We're gonna go up to file and we're gonna hit export and we're gonna export media. So we'll set an MP3 and we'll call this drum sample guitar center. So we'll go ahead and add that and then we'll choose a location for it. Let's make sure that we put this in our music production folder. So we'll drop this guy in there and we'll hit save and hit export. And it will just simply export just the audio. It won't export the video with it. So now we have the audio file. So from here, we can just save this guy. And we're actually going to keep this project because we're going to use the recordings of the instrument playing, we're gonna put that back into this project. So that way we have a nice little rendition of putting the beat together and also just actually playing the instruments. All right, but for now, we're just gonna kind of close this guy out and we're gonna open up Reason. So we'll go ahead and find that sample. Here it is right here. We'll switch over to our sequencer and drop it in. Really, we just need to come in here and actually we need to fine tune this so that that kick starts right where that kick is supposed to start. All right, so now we have the drum sample and we've looped it a couple of different times. So now we're gonna start adding in the rest of these instruments. So since we already started with drums, let's actually just keep it on percussion and keep it on drums. And I'll get my microphone and we'll add in some shakes. Yeah, let's do it like that. I like that. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and normalize that. All right, that sounds like a good section of it right there. So we'll pull this section in like this. Add a little compression on it so that it's not, you know, you know, so loud and up do it a little bit. All right, cool. Let's add some claps and snaps and stuff in there. Cool. Let's uh let's layer that up actually. I like those first two, so we're just gonna copy those over and just keep that. All right, so we're gonna grab our base and we're gonna lay something down on the base as well. So what I'm hearing is like doom, da doom, da doom, 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 doom. All right, so we laid down some percussion as well as the drums. And so now we're gonna add in some guitar. I'm gonna add in this guitar line right now. All right, so now we got that guitar. Let's actually lay down some bass. So let's lay down this bass right here. All 
All right, so right now we're going to beef up that kick drum in the drum set by adding in another drum set and actually beefing up that kick. And we're going to use the audio file from the drum kit and we're going to drag that down to the node lane where this drum set is. And what that's going to do is it, it's going to give us some MIDI notes from the slices of the drum kit. And that's going to allow us to use that information to beef up and layer that kick. And it's going to sound like this. So right now we're going to go ahead and record this guitar in. So uh, let's add some guitar to the beat. Mm -hmm. 